I'm Sarah with Yarn Lab Canada and today we're going to spin some mohair directly from the locks. So these are young adult mohair locks that I bought and dyed in three colors. So I've got some teal blue, the silvery gray color, and a pink color. And when I dyed these locks as they were drying, I just by hand picked them apart so they haven't been prepped as far as combing or carding, but they have been picked, uh, just hand picked apart to sort of tease the locks open and remove any mats. And apart from that, they're ready to spin directly from this prep. So we'll zoom in and we'll take a look at lock spinning into a single. So for these locks, I'm just alternating colors. So to get ready to spin the next lock, you might want to just tease it open a little bit like this and you're going to join it just like you were joining any other fiber and you just want to spin not too quickly so that you can tease the lock back um, because these are mohair locks the staple length was about maybe five inches on them four four to five inches so this will spin with a longer a little bit of a longer draw you can add each lock one at a time by teasing it open, drawing in it on, and drafting back. The nice thing about lock spun yarn is that you get a lot of really great texture by having the locks uh, natural like this. So you want to um, embrace the blips and bits of texture. Don't worry if you get bumps and lumps. Uh, it adds to the beauty of the overall yarn. And you have some curls poking out from it. So grab some of the silver color next. It's obviously a lot slower to lock spin than it would be to spin from a uh, prepared top or roving, because you have to sort of add each one, each little bit of fiber one at a time. The effect is totally worth it. some pink in next. And you could leave the finished yarn as a single, but I'm probably going to go ahead and wind this off the spindle into a center pull ball and ply it from both ends of a center pull ball into a two-ply yarn which will sort of blend the colors a little bit better and uh, increase the integrity of the yarn as well as helping to balance it. I'm still a new spinner and I find that I tend to overspin my singles a little bit. Nothing that can't be set out with steaming but my two plies come out a lot, a lot more balanced. So I'll just join a lock Tease it backwards as we're spinning. Join the next one. Tease it backwards. There you have it. A simple way to lock spin directly into a single. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to keep up with what's going on in the Yarn Lab. You can find the information for my website, my Ravelry, my Instagram, and my Twitter profiles in the doobly-doo below. That's all for now, and happy spinning!